tips slash homework video just for the back to school. I know it's a bit late and you guys, most of you are already back to school. But I thought I would just make a video on this. I did ask a couple of weeks ago and I'm going to definitely be doing a makeup routine at some point. But I just thought that a study tips video was good because we're going back to school. So basically I've got a couple of tips here that I hope you guys really like. Study when you're in a good mood and you're fairly attentive. If you're studying when you're in a bad mood, your mind isn't going to be working as good and you're just going to get much more stressed. If you work when you're in a good mood, you get things done faster and when you get things done faster, that means you have less homework to do. Now you guys know I am obsessed with post-it notes and I think they're a great way to keep your space organised. Whether that be your school diary, your calendar, your whiteboard, your bulletin board, anything, but use post-it notes. You can use them to put reminders for your homework, you can use them to just plan out when you're going to do what. They're just great and I super, I love them so much and you can get fun personalised post-it notes. I've just got these fun ones that say blah 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 and have a P on them. I've got one that says page, but I just love post-it notes so I would really recommend them. Have a whiteboard in your room. This whiteboard, I just purchased it from Ikea and basic, not Ikea, from Officeworks. Just personalise it, make it look fun. But having a whiteboard is a really good way to plan out your week, especially when you're busy and you know there's going to be days where you're not going to get things. That's going to fall. You're not going to get things done as easily. It's a really good idea to have a whiteboard just to keep your mind in better organised fashion. That will just let you get your assessments done faster, your homework done faster, and you can just plan out your week and it basically is just better for you. I like having a bulletin board because I can pin assessment notifications on there, things like that, results on there as a little bit of motivation and I just really, really like that. Have a calendar. I'm not talking about the school calendar, the, not the school calendar, I'm not talking about the calendar in your phone. Having an actual calendar is a really great way to organise. When your assessments are coming, you can count easily how many days you have left. You can use, using your phone calendar is just as great because you can set reminders and it's just as good, but I really like having a solid calendar, like one that I can actually hold in my room just to keep my space more organised and be able to count when, how many days I have left and just be able to put my whole month on a scale in front of me without having to flip through my phone calendar. Now this is my number one tip. Number one tip, I would always do it, get things done early. Getting things done early will leave you that time when everyone's stressing out. It'll just let you be able to chillax while everyone freaks out about getting their assessment in, studying for their test or something. But I always like to have my assessments done at least three days before they're due. That way I just have three days to relax, take it all in that I've finished. And for, it's just, it's so much easier and you can think, that space of three days gives you time to really think about your assessment, how you can make it better. And especially for homework as well, I try to get my homework done as soon as I get it. That way, when it's actually due, I'm not freaking out and I've had a chance to overlook it and make sure it's all correct. When I study, I love to listen to music. So I love li listening to Spotify, listening to YouTube videos in the background. I just like having something with me. I can't study in dead silence. So I really enjoy Spotify and I think that's a great app for studying. And just find a playlist on YouTube that you can play back but it's really going to keep your mind fairly attentive. Use Quizlet. Now Quizlet is a website my French teacher actually introduced me to. And it's really aimed at learning about languages. But if you make an account, you can basically set up these questions with answers and they get you to do all these interactive things that will really let you learn the notes you need to learn really fast. So, for example, a couple of months back, I had to write a paper on Martin Luther King and it was a timed test. So I was sitting in there and they gave us like 50 minutes to write this paper. But to remember all the facts I needed to, I wanted to have them in my head. I didn't want to have to have a research scaffold with me. So I used Quizlet to interactively and make it quite fun to be able to memorise that. And look, I probably learnt my notes within two days. But Quizlet's a great one. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Um, but basically you just make your own sets and you can make your own questions and things. You can look at your teacher's questions. So I recommend that to your teacher if your teacher would be interested in something like that because it has really helped me. So I would really recommend using Quizlet. Work in 20 minute intervals. If you're just constantly working for two hours, nothing's going to get done. Well, it will get done, but you're just going to be stressing. Your head's going to feel like it explodes. Sometimes I just get really overwhelmed when I'm doing heaps of work at once, and I just step back and I think, oh my god, just take a break, page. 
But if you work in 20 minute intervals, give yourself about a 10, 15 minute interval in between, eight and tell, I'll watch PLL, do whatever you want. But just doing that, it gives you sort of a motivation to just to work better and to work quite fast, which is great. Um, also, having a motivation at the end of your assessment is great. So for me, I'm obsessed with PLL, as you all know, and when I got all my assessments, I was like, I'm not going to watch PLL until I've finished all of them, and that was a great motivation, and now I've started. I'm up to season four now, Half, like a quarter through season four. Keeping your workspace organised. So whether that be your desk, whether that be your school diary, whether that be your locker, just keeping it organised really just helps you plan out where everything's going to be and it just keeps you in a more organised space. So my locker, I've got magazine holders across my locker. Here I've got, in my desk, I've got little drawers and here I've got this like thing here with different things in each spot. But just having these are a really great way to organise your work so you know where stuff is, you don't lose it. Make sure you leave things time for doing things you like. If you're just constantly doing homework, which I'm pretty sure no one likes homework or studying, but um, but if you leave time for doing things you like, you're just going to get heaps. You're just going to be in a better mindset when you need to study, which is great. Try and have a consistent schedule. So if you can sort out, you know, you spend half an hour doing homework at the end of the day. I'm not saying that that's how much time you guys spend. Some of you will need to do a lot more than that, or maybe even less. But, um, but if you can just have a schedule, you're again going to get things done quicker, you're going to feel more organised and your head's not going to be as overwhelmed. Whenever you're studying, doing homework or anything, make sure you under the, understand the concept you're doing. If you don't understand it, that's what teachers are there for. You can just ask one of your best friends, you can ask your parents, you know, anything. Even if it just makes you feel better, admitting that you don't understand what's going on, it makes me feel better when I admit that I don't get this. And sometimes I can just get really stressed. So basically, just make sure you leave time for doing what you need to do. Prepare early. Keep yourself organised. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you really enjoyed. This video was requested by a lot of my friends. And I just really enjoyed filming it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in two weeks. Bye. Well, two weeks sitting in front of the camera. Bye-bye.